G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you're all well and things are heating up here in Japan. We're almost at the summer vacation for Japanese schools, which means I get some time off and I will be visiting Australia in early August and I'll be going to a few events, Willow Bank and down the coast and Ipswich. So maybe uh, I'll see you then, okay? That would be great. Now check out today's feature cars. The first one is this 1970 Mini Car 70 GSS with GSS standing for Grand Super sports classed as a sedan which does my head in but you know this is back in the early 70s 1970 in fact and uh, that's just the way it was it's all very confusing now this is the top of the line sporty version it's got the the powerful 38 metric horsepower engine two cylinder two stroke air cooled and it had twin carburetors that's why it has that uh, epic power output and before we leave that I want to show you those wheels they look pretty darn sporty, don't they? Now those wheels were also found on the Mini Car Skipper GT and I've got a couple of slides to show you there. Now that is a fully decked out GT with all the uh, options. Uh, vinyl roof, rear louver. You'll see there's little blacked out panels, oddly enough, uh, under the rear quarter glass. It's got stripes, window rain guards, front and rear spoiler. And check out that exhaust tip that is just weird. Now, is that a little bonnet mounted taco? Very, very interesting little thing there. Now, these slides are the only images I have of the back of the car. So when I was at the Mitsubishi Auto Gallery, while I was there alone and under no supervision, I still didn't cross the line to go look behind the cars or take photos of dashes. Crazy stuff, isn't it? Maybe next time I won't make that same mistake. Anyway, these slides do a good job of showing the back of the car, especially that green one that was on the video thumbnail. Very, very cool. Now, the Skipper variant debuted in May 71. Now, it's the early 70s that are the closest to my heart. I mean, these are the, the cars in and around my year of birth. So yeah, they mean a lot to me, what can I say? The styling is just magical. Now, see that rear glass above the tail lights? Interesting little design element and of course that's been replicated in quite a few cars over the years. Was the Skipper the first one to have that? I really don't know, but certainly the first Japanese car to my knowledge. Also interesting is that rear glass hatch. It just doesn't have a frame, it's just a glass hatch. Now in contrast to the two-stroke engine of the sedan, this four-stroke is water-cooled and has a lower power rating of 32 metric horsepower. Wow, that is a special little car, and it's one that I would love to see more of at car shows, but there are just none around. Unbelievable. Just that one at Mitsubishi HQ, unfortunately. So, uh, in August, you know what I'll be doing. I'll be visiting family and going to car events in Australia, Brisbane. Southeast Queensland and uh, please tell me what will you be doing in August that is question of the day please leave a comment something you will be doing a regular event or a once in a lifetime event anything will be fine and I will leave it there thank you once again goodbye with a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a neighborhood wasabi